I chose to pursue a career in spine surgery uh, because of the immediate positive impact that it has on patients' lives. I think that every case is unique and presents its own challenges. I enjoy that process of making a diagnosis, uh, forming a treatment plan, and uh, doing the surgery itself. I decided to pursue a career in medicine uh, because my father is actually a neurosurgeon. It started with me going to the hospitals with him when I was a kid um, and getting to spend time that way with my father. Giving back to the community is really what drove me to pursue a career in medicine. Through my clinical experiences in medical school, I was able to witness how surgeries on one of the most delicate aspects of the body were really able to help patients and cure them of their underlying problems. And I just found this to be a tremendously exciting field to be a part of. In medical school, I was fortunate to shadow a neurosurgeon during my first year. I was really fascinated by the detail as well as the unknown issues that we still face treating the brain and the spine. Some of the most fulfilling moments are when surgeries turn out how you wanted them and really help someone uh, to recover from a condition they otherwise really couldn't have. We treat a lot of different uh, ailments with patients, whether it be numbness and tingling in the arms or legs, known as radiculopathy. And once we decompress those nerve roots surgically or even with our non-invasive uh, pain management or interdisciplinary approach to these treatment plans, uh, the patients end up feeling a world better. And it's really rewarding to see that here at Summit Health. We're very fortunate to have lots of successes and we see patients who come into our office unable to walk or unable to walk without assistance. They go through surgery and they're walking out of the hospital. Uh, they can't use their arms before, say, an anterior cervical discectomy infusion, and then immediately afterwards they have sensation completely back in their arms, they have motor strength back in the arms, they can give their kids a hug, they can brush their teeth. It's, it's pretty amazing differences in a really short period of time. I thought spinal surgery had a lot of growth potential. I think we were doing things that were similar to what we were doing 40 years ago when I was a resident. And I think over my career, there's been a lot of growth in spine in terms of minimally invasive treatments and new treatments that I think can really benefit the patient. I would definitely say that a patient who has a good uh, surgical outcome and uh, went from feeling very bad before surgery to saying that they're now back to their normal activities and having their life back, when they express those sort of feelings, uh, that, that's, there's nothing better than that.